Hi there, everyone. It is currently the evening of the 29th of December 2011. This is our second video update today on Tropical Cyclone Thane. The main reason we're doing another one here is the storm has further intensified, and actually, the uh, Indian Meteorological Department has put out a very severe cyclonic storm a warning really up and down the coast here. That's what they're stating the storm is going to be as it makes landfall here just south of Chennai here overnight tonight and into tomorrow morning. But actually, on radar currently, already seeing. Uh, visibly these outer rain bands moving towards the shoreline and this is actually the radar out of Chennai right now and you've already seen these heavy rain bands move on shore and towards the coastline and actually this one right here is the most immediate threat at this time it's actually just starting to move on shore and with this banding you could see rainfall totals between 20 to 50 millimeters an hour just given these returns but farther down towards the south now that is the location where you're going to be seeing the heaviest amount of rainfall with these outer bands actually extending here all along the northwestern periphery of the system actually even heavier bands down here towards the southeast we'll get to that on the satellite imagery just in a second but at this time though this band right in here could affect the metropolitan area and even above uh, actually above about three to four hundred millimeters in a total of about a six hour span it looks like it's going to occur here as these bands move on shore and also look a bit a little bit farther off here towards the southeast a very apparent eye has formed up here as well and this is actually being noted by the JTWC the Joint Typhoon Warning Center saying that this eye is about 15 nautical miles across this is a wavering up and down but really the big uh, feature with this though is not the eye so much itself is this eye wrapping around the system and that is really where those highest winds are going to be those winds upwards of about a 100 kilometers per hour well above that and actually about 80 uh, knots being put out by JWC gusting up to 100 knots and that is located right here in this eye wall so anybody that is going to feel the effects of this definitely will feel the effects and also the potential of strong storm surge as this moves onshore out here towards the west you could see a storm surge upwards of about two to three meters even higher than that in some of the low-lying areas and actually I saw a figure earlier about 100,000 people out in this location live below uh, five meters above the uh, sea surface so there definitely is the potential for a lot of people being affected by the storm surge right near the coast and going back to the eye air imagery here I, I mentioned in my update earlier today that some of these outer bands could produce a threat of tornadic activity I've not seen any reports of that just yet but there still definitely is a threat here and another thing I want to mention with it especially in some of these outer rain bands off here towards the north and towards the south over Sri Lanka and even amidst the amazing convective bands near the center of the system you could see the threat of weak tornadoes what I mean by weak it means about on the uh, Fujita scale about an F1 definitely you wouldn't really see them often up towards the F2 just because of the nature of these storms but the main problem with these is the fact that they're often rain shouted and you can't see uh, those tornadoes coming towards you they usually move in about the same speed the cloud cover is and if you're within uh, an area in the winds where it's about 50 to 60 knot that means that those tornadoes themselves will likely be moving at about the same speed of about 50 to 60 knots and that's not to mention the actual cyclonic wind spinning within the system so definitely something to note as well if you are farther away from the center of circulation and also to note that the heavy rainfall could be affecting some of these areas even Chennai here in some of those local areas uh, where you have poor drainage definitely the threat of localized flooding even farther inland away from the storm surge but really still the main threat with this is going to be the surge right near the coast the heavy rainfall and now those gusting winds gusting above 100 knots at times in some of these areas and it could even be higher than that in some funneling areas especially in the metropolitan regions and also let's look back at this rain forecast or excuse me the rain total microwave imagery now this is a now cast on this and it does show a lot of these convective bands off on the western periphery here and that is really also reflecting on the radar imagery actually if we look quick back to the radar imagery just put them side by side here you can see that that's really matching up with it so definitely the potential for some heavy precipitation off here towards the west as that moves onshore and just another quick look at that and here is a look at the model consensus in the forecast and I'll, nothing I do want to note here is looks like all the models are really starting to match up with this system as it moves onshore likely where it is headed towards right now that is where it's going to make landfall I know I've been asked a few questions about is it going to turn towards the north and it looks like it's turning north well often actually with tropical systems after they make landfall they do wobble a little bit actually turn towards the right now it's usually not a significant turn maybe somewhere between 10 and 20 kilometers but it does occur sometimes and that could put that eye wall at least about 10 to 20 kilometers in one direction or another and that really could uh, lead to a destructive situation in one region or not so if you're anywhere out ahead of this system definitely do not let your guard down in that case and that's really what I'm trying to stress there
And lastly, let's take a look at the forecasted track here for thing. Now, they're saying that it is going to wobble here towards the southwest potentially before making landfall. That is probable due to the high pressure ridging off here towards the north. But what I was talking about with that friction interaction is just after landfall, sometimes it could swing towards the north case the big situation here is definitely anybody out ahead of this system regardless if you're 20 kilometers north or 20 kilometers towards the south you're still going to be feeling the major effects of this but one other thing I actually want to mention with this though is that I mentioned this in the earlier update the worst case of storm surge is going to be here on the northern quadrant or the right front quadrant of the storm that is because you have the fetch area pushing that water towards the shoreline down here towards the south it likely would be pushing it away from shore so something I also do want to mention with that if you're up in this area that's what we're talking about with the heavy storm surge but that is all for right now everybody uh please stay safe out there if you have any questions comments or suggestions please post them in the comment box below and also below in the description and also at the website below in the article i am posting uh, some leaks actually to a really good forum that's being talked about this system right now a lot of good links being passed there about evacuations and emergencies and also just information on the radars and satellites out here and also a few of the satellite imageries i used in this update here also posting some links in there as well. So thanks again for watching, everybody. Please stay safe. Bye.